Hello everyone and welcome to my special Jupiter Mars retrograde series. These two series will be exclusively for my Patreon patrons of $5 or more a month. So let's jump right in. Firstly, I want to introduce Jupiter and what Jupiter retrograde means. The way that I see it, when Jupiter goes retrograde in someone's natal chart, his energy becomes personalized and individualized and almost reliant on the individual to activate him. This means that he is also reliant on the space in which he's kept, which means the house in which he sits in and the sign in which he sits in. For these two series, I will be covering the houses. With Jupiter through the houses, you get to see what his specialization is. You get to see where exactly you need to activate his luck. You need to activate his expansion, where you need to create opportunities for him to expand. The funny thing about Jupiter retrograde is that you kind of get everything when you don't necessarily need it. And then as soon as you need it, it's not actually there. So it's always um, a cyclical sort of pattern. You need to always go out and earn what you need. It is not handed to you like it is when Jupiter's direct. But whenever you're relaxed and you're in a good space and you don't actually need anything, those things are actually expanded. But as soon as you get put into um, a space where you are in need, that gets expanded as well. And you need to activate and... Um, Turn that energy around and turn it into something where it's opportunistic and it's um, growing in a positive way. Now, we all know that Jupiter is a planet of spirituality, of um, higher learning, higher thinking. And um, with Jupiter being retrograde, this is actually challenged a lot more. You're going to have to challenge your own spiritual ideas and, and, and um theologies when it comes to higher knowledge and people are also going to uh challenge your ideas and your spiritual beliefs a lot to again get you to activate jupiter when he's retrograde is not really doing anything on his own he's still the planet of luck he's still the planet of opportunity he's still the planet of spiritual growth and, and high knowledge but when he is retrograde it is time for you to internally activate this energy and get in touch with the jupiter because he's not going to do it for you as I cover Jupiter at each house, I will be a lot more descriptive on where in your life this is coming into play, where in your life you need to focus on activating and what things in your life are going to push you to activate, where spiritual growth is um, most necessary as well as um, most conducive to you having a good life and, and having a life um, that is more Jupiterian. Uh, I'll really focus on giving you guys a good grasp on what it means to have Jupiter retrograde in your chart. Now with Mars retrograde, this again will be Mars through the houses retrograde. Now, Mars energy is being um, thrown inward. It is more of an inward um, experience, the idea of passion and drive. Um, but unlike uh, Jupiter, Mars does not need to be activated to work. Mars is an activator. So when it is internal, this just means that Mars is going to push you to activate in very quirky ways. You may have very quirky ideas of what annoys you and what doesn't, what makes you angry, what makes you happy, what makes you passionate, and um, what's boring. It's going to be very quirky. It's going to be very, very, very individualized. Now, you also find that these people with Mars retrograde tend to get annoyed at things that other people would call trivial, but can stand a lot of things that other people can't. It's funny that way. And when you look at where, what house Mars is sitting in, you're really getting an idea of where these quirky little um, pet peeves sit. Um, you're also getting an idea of where these people are best at delegating. Because with Mars retrograde, you find that individuals will delegate work instead of actually getting down and doing it themselves. They'll only do that once. And that's because they want to prove to you that Mars is here. They have an inner drive to let you know that I am a strong, passionate, um, forward-thinking, forward-moving individual. They feel as if they need to show it to the world. Compared to Mars in some other placements, they might not feel that way at all. They might not show Mars at all while he's direct in, let's say, the 12th house or, let's say, the 8th house. You're not going to find it until you find it. With these people, they want to make sure that you see it so you don't forget. Because there is something inside of them telling them that you do not see me. You do not see my power. You do not see what I am capable of. So now I have to show you. 
and growing up this definitely makes a lot of troublemakers with Mars retrograde people who um really have to test their own limits have to um go out and show people that that they're worth um paying attention to and that they are worth being feared and and really um whatever their motivations are compared to where Mars retrograde is sitting in their chart they also have um or draw to risky behavior. Again, this is coming from their idea of uh, proving oneself and proving Mars's energy is within them. And it's also coming from the idea that they just don't fear putting themselves on the line. When it comes to delegating out work, it's not because they're afraid to do it, it's because they don't want to put themselves in that position. I approve myself, I'm here, I'm powerful, now let me sit back and you all now know it. Mars is not constantly going out, it is not direct. It is retrograde. So he wants to be able to watch all these things happen. He wants to be the commander in chief who is not on the front lines. He's the one in the back, sitting in the back of the castle, waiting for you to get all the way up to him. So now he knows that you're worthy of this one-on-one um, -on -one fight. This is what type of uh, fighter you find. And this ends up actually annoying a lot of people because these are the people that all you, you make this Mars retrograde person angry and depending on where Mars is sitting in the chart, they might just run up and hit you and then immediately run. Or they'll say something really mean and nasty and then like you can't find them, they'll block you and like they, they, they attack and retreat. And it's because they're not the ones who need to constantly do that. They are going to prove that they are a problem. They are going to prove that they are a power and then they're going to retreat because that's what their point was. So um, it's very interesting to see what happens when you see Mars through these placements. So if you guys want to join in on um, this series, on my uh, Jupiter and Mars retrograde series, make sure to go to my Patreon page, which I put a link down below, and um, become a contributor. $5 or more a month, which is not that much, you get access to these two series. And they're going to be on Vimeo. They're not going to be up here on YouTube. So I look forward to getting um, some new contributors and hopefully some people who are going to watch this series and learn something from it. And I'm also excited to talk to you guys who are already um, contributors and are watching this series. I'm very excited to give you guys some really good um, information, especially since you guys are paying for it. I'm putting in double the effort. I'm staying up all night <laughs> getting this stuff done and I'm so excited to bring it to you. So um, thanks for watching you guys. Hopefully you become a contributor, stay a contributor, enjoy the series, yada yada yada. Um, yeah, thanks for watching.